It is now time for the safety slap. Bloodborne pathogens are infectious microorganisms in the human blood that can cause disease in humans. These pathogens include, but are not limited to, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. And now, we're going to count down five of the wildest myths about bloodborne pathogens. Myth number five. Once exposed to a serious bloodborne pathogen such as HIV or hepatitis B, it's too late to prevent infection. <laughs> False. Some illnesses can be prevented even after you come into contact with the virus if you take action immediately after exposure. HIV and HBV are two such viruses. However, no treatment yet exists for the prevention of hepatitis C after exposure. It's still best to take immediate action after coming into contact with a potentially infectious substance. It couldn't hurt. Myth number four. Employees with dangerous bloodborne diseases are required to inform employers so they can take the proper protective measures. <coughs> False. Since every employee is entitled to his or her privacy, employers must be relied upon to provide universal protection for any bloodborne risk. Myth number three Viruses aren't contagious once exposed to oxygen. <coughs> Most viruses, like HIV, do die within seconds of being exposed to air outside the body. But depending on environmental factors and circumstances, it could take longer. Even if the virus only lives for a few seconds, there are countless ways you could come into contact with it. Don't let the short lifespan of a virus serve as your excuse to not follow exposure protocol. Myth number two. Bloodborne pathogens are harder to kill outside the body. <coughs> False. Both HIV and HBV can be effectively killed with a solution that contains at least 10% bleach. If you think about it, it would be easier to kill these viruses outside the body, since you aren't limited to substances that are harmful to human health. And myth number one. People that say, I've been vaccinated, I'm safe. <coughs> False. It's true that vaccinations can protect you from contracting an illness or disease, but they aren't 100% effective or safe. Just because you've been vaccinated for HBV doesn't mean you shouldn't react to exposure the same way you would if you hadn't been vaccinated. Look at all the people who get vaccinated for certain strains of flu and end up catching them anyway. When it comes to bloodborne pathogens, it's better to be safe than sorry. Thanks for watching the Safety Slap. Be sure to visit us at fssamerica.com for more information.